Um, another verse that comes to my mind is from Matthew chapter 10, verse 34, you know, where Jesus said, oh, that's, that's my favorite. <laughs> I haven't come to, to uh, you know, I've come to bring a sword, you know, that one, you know, they, that's another passage that they butcher it out of context. You know, you just, Jesus all you have to do, <laughs> exactly, exactly. All you have to do is just give that courtesy and respect to Jesus and just let him finish his sent his his speech you know that's all you have to do in order to interpret it correctly you know he clearly explains in in the following verses 35 to 39 where he says you know a man will be against his father and a daughter will be against her mother and a daughter-in-law will be against her mother-in-law so he's talking about the division that will be caused because of his namesake you know he's he, he didn't bring a sword. You know, how many people did Jesus slaughter with a sword, with a physical sword? How many people did his his disciples slaughter with a, with a physical sword, you know? So that means, are you trying to tell me they were worst followers of Jesus who didn't obey his commands? And Jesus himself didn't uh, uh, preach, uh, 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 do, uh, you know, what, what he preached? Are you trying to tell us that, you know, when you butcher it out of context and say, hey, Jesus was a violent man and, you know, he, he he came to to use a sword so that's the kind of you know funny interpretation that you can uh, make out of bible verses once we ignore the context and butcher and chop off you know it's just absurd you know it's you, you're not going to go anywhere with that kind of interpretation so